Hey everyone, here's a quick video showing how you can leverage uh, Copilot within Power Apps. Uh, so we did announce a few new generative AI capabilities. So I'll just show a quick demo of these new features. So here we have a leave application, which basically allows employees to apply for leave. Uh, so in this case, all the data that you see here is saved in DataWords, but you can also use um, any other uh, connectors uh, if you wish to save data in SharePoint or ServiceNow or Salesforce. Um, the two new features that we have are Copilot answers. So these cards that you see here, uh, they are called Copilot answers. Uh, and uh, what Copilot answers allow you to do is basically run a prompt in order to generate uh, new insights on your data. So in this case, you can see I have this card called Total Leave Apps. And when I click on this um, submit button, what this does is it's going to execute this prompt. So how many leave applications do we have? Uh, so this card is using the same data was table. So it will look across all the data that's within um, this data source and then provide me uh, uh, answer in terms of how many applications uh, we have in this this data source or this table. Same way, I have uh, open leave apps and apps this month. Uh, they all will execute a specific pre-configured prompt uh, to get generate insight uh, using the data source that I've uh, identified here. So this feature is called Copilot Answer. This was just released. Um, other than Copilot Answers, we also have the Copilot uh, Bot, which you can point uh, to your data source. And then this, again, allows you to uh, reason over your data, uh, which might be in a specific data or stable, or it, you could also use connectors uh, if you wish to uh, connect to a data source that's outside Power Bot. Power Platform. So I'll quickly uh, play this app and show you how this works. So first I'll show you how easy it is to search for different records. So in this case, I'm searching on first name, last name. So if I say Mary uh, or Sarah, you can see uh, you're able to uh, get to the right record by uh, using this search functionality. Uh, you can also then uh, click on these cards. So if I want to see total uh, applications that we have received uh, within this uh, application. You can see uh, it was able to tell me that we have six leave applications. Uh, if I want to see how many are open or in pending state, I can click on this card. Uh, it tells me that I have three applications which are in pending state. Same way, if I want to see how many applications were submitted this month, uh, it I can use this card to do that. So you can see it. we only had one application that was submitted this, this month. Um, same way I can ask the bot to tell me uh, how many applications do we have from Sarah Brown. And you can see right now we only have one application. So the bot quickly allows me to reason over this data as well. So I can ask any questions um, related to the data uh, that's within my data source. So th this is a quick uh, demo of how you can add generative AI capabilities to your existing uh, Canvas app. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching.